Hey guys, welcome back to the HW Boat World Tour Montreal 2017. We are here in Montreal, Canada at DreamHack, Canada of course. And I'm Chukman from Overclocking TV. And for this second semi-final of the amateur PVP, I'm being joined once again by Freneuf. Yeah, up? hi. Hi again, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are coming with the semi-final a bit late, but... No, not like, actually, it's right on time. Right on time? Yeah, oh, we're just cool. gonna have like this one and then go yeah, straight I, to the final right okay, after yeah. this. Because I so, was a bit late, so... Yeah, you were late yeah. and we're <laughs> waiting for you. And actually, the judge is already ready for that. And we can tune in to him yeah. to announce the last setting. All right, so we are ready to start uh, the second semi-final of today. So we have Sydney, who we already saw today, who actually uh, was winning the previous round against his twin brother. And we have Dali, who actually, well, it was an easy win for you because your opponent didn't show up. So now it's going to be interesting to see what you are going to do. All right, so you guys are ready. It's the same rules than before. 15 minutes, get the best score. Then we swap system 15 minutes again, and we sum up both scores. Every time you got a score, you raise your hand, you call me, I validate the scores, and you can continue. You don't need to submit online or anything, okay? Any questions? Okay. Let me pull up the timer. It is here. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Okay, so we got Dali against Sydney. So as he said, Sydney just won the last round against his twin brother. He got a score, I think it was uh, 7,000 in total, something like that. You got over 7,000. 7,000. You got an high score of uh, 36, 10, if I remember correctly, and 34 something. And that he was automatically uh, going to the semi final because his opponent didn't show up for his match. So we will see what he will manage to do, how will he manage to. Uh, or see how right, to benchmark. It's or two. Oh, it's score. already a score. Yep. It's like one minute in and already a score. It's like, yeah, running by default, the setting default, 2.9 gigahertz and 0 0.9 volts. So that's the default uh, frequency for the yeah. 7920X. So that's the 12 core CPU from Intel. Yeah, they're both running on the same platform, same chip, same chip. Dali. And, uh, 32, Same motherboard, it's, this is an Aorus motherboard, Gaming 7 with the i9 7920X chips from Intel, the Extreme Edition, 12 core CPU, 24 thread. That's, uh, that's quite a lot of threads, but uh, yeah. well, that's, uh, that's always good to, to have more of these. Yeah. And I think this system is cool by uh, an uh, IAO water cooling system by uh, Alpha Cool. The 42. The, the Ice Bear 42. 420. Yeah, 31, 41. 41. Damn, the score is going well. All yeah. right. So Dali 134, 1234 is actually right now in the lead with 3267. Everything's fine, everything's fine. No, c'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon. Okay. okay, so we got a first reboot from, I think it's Sydney. Uh, no, it's Dali. Dali got his first reboot. So it just crashed. I don't know which setting Sydney he was in. And Sydney is going up at 4.5 gigahertz so it's going it's looking pretty good for Sydney everything was fine yeah sure no problem So 
So here we are back. Uh, <clears throat> we do have Dali that is right now trying to set up at 4.5 gigahertz. And the guys were watching what we were doing. We were doing uh, the uh, exhibition match as yeah. well. And they're trying to apply that. Oh, wow, wow. He's getting quite high on the uh, processor cage ratio. Higher than what I managed yeah, yeah. to do earlier. Oh, oh blue, blue screen! screen! He was at a core voltage of uh, 1.3. 1.3 giga... giga uh, not volt. My bad. Which is quite high. On the other side, Sydney is going s slowly but surely up in the score. Uh, is at 4.6 gigahertz. And the benchmark is running. So, so far, so good. I think it will improve this score. So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's it. 3368. 3368. Validate by the judge. Alright, so if we uh, take a closer look at what the, P the guys have, we have Cine right here that is currently at 4.6. Yeah. And he's playing with the cash ratio. He knows that this one will give him some extra boost in. His yeah, team. I, I think I don't know if he if he's going to go to to go higher than 4.6. I think he will stop at 4.6 and just play with the ca cash ratio and ca cash voltage to tweak his score to go a bit higher. On the other side, Daddy is having issue actually restarting the system. Yeah, I think he, I think <coughs> Sydney will play safe because he is seeing Danny, Dali having issues. So I think he's going safe to keep having keep having his score. We don't see any throttling going on, so that's good. Oh whoa whoa, that's quite. Oh, wow. 34, 85. That's yeah. actually more than you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's actually more than I did. <laughs> oh God. And uh, the the voltage for the cage is uh, 0 0.6, I think, by default. Oh, it's 0 0.6 yeah, by default. Yeah, so I I don't know something like this. I think I thought that was 0 0.8, like same as the CPU. Maybe that's maybe why we crashed. Could be, indeed. So yeah, I don't think Sydney is going to uh, go higher in frequency on the processor, but is is going higher on the cage, on the cache. See, he's happy. he knows that daddy is stuck at restarting. Yeah, yeah, he's, he knows that daddy is stuck in, so. So if we, if we check the runs, it's going, uh, it's going quite well. Uh, it's at 4.6, the cache ratio is at 3 gigahertz, and no thermal trolling, no power limit, oh, it, and 35.42, yeah. damn! 35.42. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good for him. So saving the profile, so he knows that this one is working. Yeah. So they, in like four minutes, they did better than us in thirty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's just playing with the ca with the cash voltage and cash ratio. Yeah. Apply and then is going. I think straight to benchmark. Man, it didn't get a single crash. That's nice. Yeah. That's that's way better than most of the people. CPU is eating is eating sixty two degrees, so that's pretty. I mean, sixty two is. Uh, yeah, that's pretty safe. Yeah, you still have a lot of margin for it. And on the other side, Dali, Dali is having quite some trouble with his PC. Oh, the first crash. First for crash. Sydney. That's nice. Yeah. Can't wait to see the next ones. Okay, so both both at at, at the same stage. This is wibbling. First crash for Dali. Uh, first crash for Sydney and. Uh, well, Dali has some history with. With crash, I think. With crashes, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. <laughs> but that was a very good and easy uh, qualifier for him, as he was just uh, just passing by and just 
having the uh, the open uh, his opponent didn't, didn't show up, up so that, that was super easy for yeah. him but now he's having quite quite some quite some trouble let's make it happen as people say Sydney here is going back into the OS and ready to bench again yeah he's going to load his profile and I think he's going to play with the catch ratio again oh he's yeah. running the benchmark again to see if he's getting the same score as the first time with the same profile so he reload the profile he load the profile and run the benchmark just without changing anything just to see if it works again it should be it should indeed yeah <laughs> Uh, that's good, we have uh, Dali as well that is back into uh, benching, he's at 4.3 gigahertz right now. Um, so far running the benchmark is not triggering any... He got a core voltage, which is quite high. Oh, same score, same score, good. Yeah, as expected. As expected. <laughs> <laughs> but from, from Dali we've got a core voltage of 1.33. Wow. That's way at high. At least someone push it up. Yeah. But that's way higher than uh, Sydney. For a lower frequency. Yeah. We'll see what score we'll get. We've got, uh, okay, almost the same score as, as last time. And on the other end, uh, Sydney. I think he will improve. 35-42, oh. same score. Same score. Again. 35, 42. It's <laughs> at 62 exactly degrees, so it's score. not that much. That was, I think, that's the smash competition. Yeah. Yeah, the. Okay, the he's playing with the tuber boost power time window. So he's trying to lower it to, uh, to make the tuber boost kicks in faster to have better performance. Right, uh, yeah. 4.6. Hey, you know what? We managed to do 4.6. We never managed to do that. And the guy told us, I don't even own a PC yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was like, enough. okay. Well. <laughs> See, that, that's why it's interesting. Like this 1v1, you can always uh, be surprised by, by new people. Yeah. Yeah, I did, we, we did, oh, wow, oh, <laughs> no. I was messing with, uh, with yeah, my yeah. like, oh, yeah, good score. Nope. <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, he changed the turbo boost power time window to six uh, seconds. He got a score that was lower than the old one, so he went back to eight seconds. I don't know what he would change. Okay, he will play again with the cash, again. A bit, maybe 31. Yeah, I, I think he is quite into. Uh, he don't know. He don't know what to change yet. <laughs> yeah, are, because same same thing as last time. He sw he's, he upped the voltage in the c on the cache and he got a crash. Same thing. Yeah, that's what happened when you try too hard to, uh, yeah. to, to push the system. Sometimes you hit the limit. No. We can just, the issue is knowing which one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way Dolly uh, is doing it. He's using the basic, basic tuning. tuning. <laughs> and then after, because if you if you use the uh, independent in the old control, you have to apply each of the multiplier for each of the core, unless you take the last one. Yeah. And the other one, you just click that, click apply, it, and, and apply then you it. go into the uh, to the uh, old control settings one panel. That means changing everything at a time. It's always using the offset. Always, yeah. yeah. That's good. I mean, <laughs> we were trying to set the cache voltage without knowing which one it was <laughs> by default. <laughs> so that's that's a way for doing it. 4.4 temporary seems to be okay like 761 but I'm, I'm blown that. away by his voltage I mean I don't know why he's going so well, high at least it's working yeah it's working but, but yeah, yeah, yeah actually so far he's doing better than us yeah better than well, you which is maybe one of the reasons why we're not competing <laughs> and actually be behind the stream deck yeah alright and we've the got two are benching 
Darley gonna be the first to have the score. And he's hey. not oh. improving the score. And None of them 35, are. 35, 22. But so, yeah, yeah they they are both like Meh. staying at the same ratio score. Okay, Dali. Oh, really he's pushing it to 4.7. He's trying it. So Sydney is trying to push to. Uh, he's 4. trying. 7. He's trying. 4.7. Oh, and he got crash. a crash. Yeah. Straight in. Crash. Straight in. Darley is uh, starting again at 4.4. <coughs> this is in at 1.92. That is that thing. He looked at us when we were doing the, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. exhibition match and says, "Okay, I need to put my VCC in at 1.9 because <laughs> that's what the guys always <laughs> do at first. <laughs> so and that, oh, but it was cool. Oh, nice, 3317. A 40 point improvement. But there's only 35 seconds left in that round, so that's going to be tricky for him to uh, yeah. move on to the next one. I don't know why he play with the AVX ratio. Uh, oh, he shouldn't have. Okay, both are crashing. 20, 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Maybe. 5 seconds. Okay, he's winning a benchmark. Straight ahead. Okay. Let's wait for that one. So. Sydney managed to launch the benchmark just before the timer ends. We will see. He still have four, four point six. He went for the AVX propulsion. Yeah, <laughs> AVX master boost. All right, uh, let's finish that run. Let's see if it's better than thirty-five forty-two. Oh, and yeah, it's not. Thirty-two, no. so that's lower. All right. Extreme that tuning uti utility. XTU. All right, so now the guys will switch the yeah. platform. They will switch platform and do the same thing over again for fifteen minutes. So, the, so uh, this is a Ma way Ma of Marco, wh what can we get from this first uh, part of the of the game? Well, I think Sydney is in much better shape than Dali is because he already has done one match between his brother and Dali has not because he went straight into semi-final because his opponent w didn't Did not show, show up. Did not show up so. As we can see, Dali has more trouble uh, benchmarking and having this, the good settings. If we and look the at the if, yeah, and if we look at the score before, uh, Dali was making six sixty-five forty-two in total uh, which in, in terms like of points, which is which is very low. That was uh, the the only lowest score that we had for that was from uh, Gold G Dorger, yeah. which is it was yeah, the yeah. first match that was not uh, not streamed. Um, but um, Sydney got 7115, so it's like highest. far away, which is the highest. So, so far, Sydney is the leader yeah. of that whole amateur HW but world tour. Uh, and we thing. can clearly see that in the first round. Sydney managed to get a, a nice and steady score at 35 and some point, like 35 and 42. It was pretty good. And Daddy was trying, was trying really hard to get higher than 33, but he had some issue. His system keep crashing, and yeah, maybe he will do better in the second round. Well, let's hope. I mean, the the the, yeah, let me adjust that. the, the, the key point here is to make sure that uh, each each of the system you have to do better than the other one on the same system, which yeah. is which is why it's super fair to uh, switch the platform like this. So. Once you switch the platform, it's like, yeah, you both had the same chance on the same exact system. So sure, why not? It's, uh, it's always something you can have when you, when you do these amateur matches that they don't have to rely on one specific platform. You can yeah. just switch them over. Um, the yeah, that's they switch right. platform, so they've got the same chance. Uh, there was a lot of questions on the live chat. Usually we don't take the question during the matches, but in between, right now, we, having, we are having some extra times. Uh, by the time uh, as the guy and the judge are resetting the system uh, to default settings. So just to, uh, to make sure that everyone here is on the same page for everyone that just joined in uh, on, on Twitch. 
Uh, they are amateurs, so they got trained yesterday for 30 minutes and then they try out on the system by 30 minutes here at the Asia Belly Boat World Tour Montreal 2017. And some of them did not, did not knew about overclocking before, like Sydney. He doesn't even own a computer yet. Yeah. So uh, they got trained, they tried out, and we took the eight best core from yesterday for the past two days and we tell them that. Hey, when I come over and do some uh, one versus one, you can uh, win some stuff. They show up, and that's uh, that's how we, they are here. What they have to do is two times 15 minutes, and those 15 minutes they have to reach the highest score in XTU. Uh, XTU is the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. That's the name of the software that they are using. You can use that software to tune your system, so uh, change ratios, change voltages, change all that within Windows. You don't have to go to the BIOS to do uh, all those things anymore. And if you have a benchmark that is already integrated inside, which makes it like an all-in-one place to go for any rookies. Actually, talking about rookies, the Rookie Rumble is going on right now for everyone that's joined in on HWBot, and that's going to be the first competition you guys can get to. And I recommend that if you never run XTU before and you're on having an Intel Core CPU, just go with it. It's a free, uh, free software on the um, Intel website. You can go to hwbot.org, benchmark processor, and get on XTU. I think yeah. there's even like XTU zone, like a direct link for it. Download that, install, try out, submit a score, and well, that's how it works. I mean, that's how you, you, get, uh, you get through that. That's how you get, uh, you get into uh, overclocking competition. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's, that's you try, some of them. You try, like it, you try it at home and then. Uh, if you get a high score, maybe you can try it on, the, on, on some event like this. And uh, I mean, imagine Sydney yeah. won. If Sydney is winning here today, it's like I win an overclocking competition without owning a computer. <laughs> so I won an overclocking competition before owning a computer. I was like, that would be like insane. Yeah, <laughs> I, they are doing better score than us already. All right, so it seems that so, uh, we can do the switching to the to the to the next go guys. Back to the. Let's go to, to the, the judge. competition. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Both one. are ready. Semi final here between Dali and Sydney. Are you guys ready for the next 15 minutes? Yep. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go. And we okay, are back so. for 15 minutes in XTU. Yeah. And by the way, they're using XTU because it's much more faster than uh, going into the BIOS, tweaking the BIOS. And, and it's then easier, it's just easier. Yeah. I mean, you just run and... Easier and faster. Yeah, that's it. You don't have to reboot each time you make a change. So, we've got, we've got, we've got... We've got a lot of things going yeah, on. So we things <laughs> going on. It's like we have seen it that is already running the benchmark. Yeah. And we do have Dalia that is applying a lot of different settings at once. Yeah, and and Sydney is uh, going for the benchmark like default setting as always just to have a sc Sydney, the first score. So at least he has a score. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the extreme guys watching, look at them. They are doing the default score. That's something everyone needs should to be do. doing. Yeah, should be doing. Don't be too greedy and yeah. Yeah. Assume you might not be able to have any score other than the default one. <laughs> Alright. Um, we do have Dali that is, that is already at 4.3 gigahertz. He's having an AVX ratio offset of X2 as well of the 30 to 67 mark. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad. I think that's. Is it better than the highest score on the last round? It is. No, it no, is no, it's not. not. It's, it's better. It's, really it's his best it's score. Close. Yeah, it's uh, it's close to his best score so far. But uh, and uh, we've got Sydney, which is at 4.3 gigahertz. Running a benchmark too. Yes, indeed. That that is a very good tactic to yeah, get at least a get score it, yeah. on the scoreboard. That's the placeholder. That's Even the thing everyone should be doing at first, just to make sure you don't have any issue, like something yeah. like, uh, especially for extreme, like okay, I don't have any con condensation issues, like everything is stable. If you get a cold bug just after that, and then you have <laughs> to wait for ten minutes, you're like, oh shit, at least I've got a score. All right, second score. There's gonna be at four point three gigahertz as well. Is it doing? Yeah. Oh, it's Maybe going less at the same less. frequency. Yeah. But it but did not play with the cache ratio. And it and got a lower voltage too. And no AVX. No AVX. No AVX offset ratio. AVX is doing everything.
And we've got, oh, the Turbo Boost power is not the same also. So Turbo Sydney, Boost power... Sydney is at 8 seconds and uh, Dali is at uh, 0 0.25. And that's one thing as well. Yeah. In the, in the run when he was doing that by himself, uh, because his opponent did not show up, he was not touching this one. He touched this one after he saw us during touching the exhibition one. match. Yeah. Yeah. So once again, they are both uh, doing the benchmark right now. and. Uh, Sydney would be the first one to get yep. up a new score at 4.4 gigahertz. And I think it will... Yeah, a bit higher, but not too much. I think he need to... Uh, step up his game? Yeah, yeah, he need to step up his game. Because I yeah. think Dali will have... Yeah, Dali is Dali going... Three, uh, oh, three, he beat his high hey, score. So far, that's his best score. Yeah. <laughs> Personal best score. Nice. So yeah, he's lower. Yeah, he lower his voltage. I don't know why. So he's lowering the VCC in yeah. by 0 0.02, and he was increasing the core voltage to 1.28, and benchmarking and again. <laughs> and Sydney is going for 4.5. He upped the voltage a oh, bit, and he got a crash. crash. And he got a crash. He needs to be maybe a bit like safer on his value because he knows the system is much much harder yeah it's a, you yeah. know that one of the systems is a little bit more tricky than the yeah. other one all right darley is here and oh he got yeah 33.25 almost the same score yeah, not increasing his uh, previous score the offset ratio for AVX was X3. He's putting that back to X2 and it will benchmark again yeah. to see if that's improving the score or not. And it crashed. And it crashed, wow. So maybe there's a, like both of them crashed, but uh, maybe yeah. there's like uh, some power limits going on when the AVX ratio is uh, kicked in. Maybe. I mean, AVX is a set of uh, instructions that are pretty heavy on the, on the CPU, to be honest. Okay, so we've got Sydney, who is back into XTU, loading his profile, and we will see what he's going to do. All right, straight in, load his profile. Yeah, advanced tuning, and he's back into the game. He's going to play with the cache ratio. So far, the cache ratio was very good for him. So, yeah, he is eating some limit throttling and clipping sometimes at the beginning of the benchmark so the current in. current throttling was uh, kicking in yeah 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 so that means he's but using way too much current yeah. in uh, in his uh, in, with his settings all right so sydney here is in the lead for now let's see if dolly can uh, come back up but i think not by much Oh, and Sydney, yeah. he improved his score by uh, 100, so Sydney is in the lead, I think. He's going to play with the cash ratio again. Cash ratio gives a nice boost in XTU. Yeah. Interesting enough, some of the people managed to run that cash ratio at 3 gigahertz. Yeah, I didn't... Oh, no, I, stuck at I, I didn't... Yeah, I was stuck at 2.5, 2.6, Which I is think. like... Like, like almost the default. <laughs> almost default. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow. I think it crashed at default, even. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's because... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> he, he, the, the, com the, the, the PC knew that it was you, and it was yeah, like, okay, that's an exhibition right. match, just uh, let's, let's have fun with it. There's uh, like a nice bunch of people watching the, uh, the game going on right now. So we can see that uh, Durley is like very focused, and all the settings is changing, and he's not and using profile yet. It's an A3308. So it's like changing a lot of settings at once. Yeah, yeah. He's, and you, yeah, have, you have to redo it every now and then, all the time, and, and over and over again. And the, on the other side, Dali is just playing with his voltage and the cache. cache. Oh, Sydney, I mean, not Dali. Sydney just, Dali just crashed. <laughs> and Sydney is uh, improving his score. So far, he's keep getting higher get higher and higher it's like oh that oh. benchmark i just need to wait for it to run 
run, 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 <laughs> he don't want. He don't want to go uh, higher than 4.4. I think. On the other systems, he on the other system, he could reach like 4.6. Yeah, he, he reached 4.6 on the other platform. But on this one, I think he don't want. Even to. this one is like 1.1 1 .1 volt. Like yeah. before that, it was at 1.15 as well. Yeah. Um, and like is um, for, for now, Sydney with uh, 30. Uh, 3308 yeah. is very close from 3217 that Dali managed to do on this exact same platform. Yeah. And I think with this benchmark he will beat it because he he went a bit higher on the cage ratio again and yeah higher. And so that's, yeah. It. that's it. We got it. That's it. 3370. And he went up to 30 on the cage ratio and I think if the benchmark runs it will be at 34 would it boom maybe maybe I think All I right, so, so far Sydney is in the lead on both of the square yeah uh, from from that yeah. that's uh, yeah yeah why well, you've got you've got a match to you've got a match, uh, it's match. Look at how Dali and Sydney is doing. Like Dali is changing all of the settings at once, all the time. And Dali is changing one by 30. one. Sydney is changing one by one. And yeah, he passed the 34 mark ratio. That's good at 4.4 gears. That's that's yeah. very nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now he's going to up the voltage of the coal. Uh, and that's that's the only thing he do. He's gonna try if that's gonna pass. Yeah, the, uh, just up the voltage, the change one setting, and run the benchmark. You will see. When you do like this, that's what you have to do. You need to know if you are hitting the limit or not, and then you can continue increasing. Yeah, and up oh, limit. Then see, see, maybe there's one of the limit kicking in, yeah. same frequency, a little bit higher on the core, and that's not stable. So, so it, will, it will just lower the core to the value it was uh, before, one. and then play with other settings. <laughs> 3-3-3 three, 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 four, for Dali, and that was exactly the same score that he's already having. Playing with the AVX ratio offset. Less than five minutes remaining into the match. And yeah, so far <laughs> Sydney is in the lead. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about getting there step by step, and that's definitely what not what I did when we did the, <laughs> the exhibition <laughs> match. <laughs> not what I did. Four, four gigahertz. It's like, oh yeah, uh, default is better than what I'm trying to do. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 be worse than default. <laughs> yeah, do what I say, not what I do. Exactly. Always, always, uh, always exactly. like this. All right. So, Dali is benching. He's trying to get one of the uh, a score at 4.4 gigahertz with a uh, ratio offset for the AVX uh, time three. That means it should be good enough to get an increase of score. Which is really but it's not. It's actually going down as well. Oh, wow, wow. He, he went up on the tube boost power time window. <laughs> like, no, don't kick in. And uh, which is quite fun to watch because Dali and Sydney are not playing with the same setting at all. It's a very different kind of benching. I mean, even yeah. for, for amateurs, they got the exact same training. All of them got the exact same training. Yeah. But but I guess that sometimes the same. Yeah. Yeah. maybe they went to read something online uh, overnight and say, "Oh, if I touch these settings, yeah, some maybe. people say that's uh, that's good." If I mean, Sydney is playing with the cage ratio and cage voltage more, yeah, improving Dali, his score. That is thirty-four thirty. That is thirty-four forty. No, thirty-four thirty. Right, uh, so, so if we had to compare the, the two bench for the last, uh, for there's only three minutes left, and if we, if we have to compare on how they do it, how would you um, say that Dali is doing compared to Sydney? I would say... Oh yeah, co wow. He's always using the core voltage offset. Core voltage pretty high. But he's having the VCC in, so which is good, I think. And on the other side, Sydney is not using it, but 
is at a more much lower voltage. Same core multiplier, but higher core ratio, catch ratio. And Dali is oh, playing I with crashed. crashing. And yeah, Dali is keep playing with the AVX. AVX ratio AVX is uh, yeah, it's, quite, it's, it's quite tricky. Wants, it's very heavy on the CPU, like yeah. all the time. It wants to push it. Like, Sydney I is think it's sure that these settings will, uh, will yeah, yield some Sydney points. Yeah, is not playing with it at all. 34.39, improving his uh, previous score of 34.30. Of course, setting the profile. 39. One minute and 40 seconds left. Okay, it's play. Sydney starts to play with the Turbo Boost Power Time window. Let's see if that's gonna yield some points. Yeah. Oh, oh Daddy crash crashed Daddy. again. Daddy is trying on the on the other side. He's trying very hard. But yeah. And actually, it, it, that's good. They haven't rebooted for quite some time as well. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, um, I think that was Lars Graf saying that on the live chat that uh, you cannot reboot more than 14 times. By the time it takes to boot, it's actually 15 minutes. So. If you crash, you lose some precious yeah, timing. You, I mean, precious you, time. you can run maybe, like, uh, you do two reboots at the same time as actually benching. Yeah. I don't know if Daddy... No. Uh, Sydney did not improve his score. And there is a 55 seconds left 55 in seconds. that semi-final two. Sydney is in the oh, lead. And Sydney is trying to change the VCC in voltage. First time. First time into the match. That he plays with it. Oh, and we've got a crash on Dali. Will that be a oh, blue screen? A Will that be a blue screen? Oh, oh just no. A I'm, I'm, crash. So, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. We haven't seen a blue screen in a while. No, we haven't seen a blue screen yeah, on that front. Yeah, yeah. Good for them. Sad and for, for us. And for all the viewers that uh, <laughs> have headsets or kids. No, <laughs> blue, blue screen has fun. Blue screen has fun. <laughs> Waiting for the bench to finish. I've uh, I'm not even sure that Sydney is trying yeah, to improve. Dali, Dali will not even be able to use, tune Five, in the yeah. system. Four, three, three two, two, one, one. and, and this is over. All right, last score by Sydney. Oh, oh 34, 57. Improved. So Woo! good. He's yeah. improving his score. He's improving his score. So that will count towards defining who will get the third place or fourth place. Because of course the only next match that is left now is the final, yeah. and um, we'll have to make sure that uh, actually the third place there is no match for the loser bracket. That's just based out of the of the point system. Just based on the score. Yeah. So here we are, with uh, just validating the last score by the judge, and the two guys will just stand up. And, and the guy who never touch a, who never owns a computer is winning the semi final. Which is quite impressive. Yeah, indeed. that's. Uh, he has never done overclocking before. Yesterday, and he is winning the amateur semi-final. So amateur semi-final being won by uh, Sydney. And yeah. we yeah. got a yeah. winner, Sydney. Congratulations! Sydney. That is very nice. Uh, very nice uh, display of uh, you know, very amateur nice skills, I would him. say. Yeah. Amateur's skills right there. So Sydney will, will move on to the final, and uh, by Sydney uh, uh, winning this semi-final number two, it will move on to the final and will go against a first opponent in the name of Kafumbla. Yeah, what so we're gonna have Kafumbla against Sydney, and if we yeah. look at the total scores, we can already say who will be the third one. Uh, in the first semi-final, uh, Ling Prince lost by only seven, uh, 46 point, well, something like this. Something Not that like much. This. That yeah. was like 7,008 points for Link yeah. Prince and 7,050 points for uh, Kafumbla. The thing is, now that uh, we know the total amount of points for Dalit, which is 66, 55, 51, well, we know that Dalit is going to be fourth. Yeah. We know that Kafumbla is going to be third. What we don't know yet is who will be who the will winner be, of this yeah. SW Bot World exactly. Tour amateur competition here at the uh, Dreamhack Canada. Sydney has a lower score than the for his first match. 
but that's quite still quite high. Is almost at seven thousand, but. Right. If, if, it, if we it, get it, a if we get a look at all the scores that uh, yeah. that that got displayed uh, over time, uh, for this specific match between Dali and Sydney, what we did add was that uh, Dali managed to do a better uh, Sydney managed to do a better score than Dali on, on both, both of the systems. Yeah. So that means he had an advantage on how to do it. The main difference we have seen in between Dali and Sydney is that. Dali was always applying a lot of settings at once, changing the AVX ratio of set, the changing the voltages, yeah. um, tube boost powered sign window, and even the VCC in voltage. And yeah. all that at once. So it was yeah. always changing all these voltages at the same time. Even for us, it was hard to keep track of which uh, was the voltage change. Yeah, what, what it was changing and everything, yeah. But on the other side, uh, Sydney was very... Very um, careful. Yeah, careful and uh, really doing it by the book, step by step. Actually, how they were supposed to be yeah. taught how to do it. And they, they were... It was doing that, benching, changing just the voltage. We benching at the same frequency to see if that was passing or not. So that's a very nice. That's a very yeah, good that's, strategy. That's a, that's, you see, guys. I mean, if you follow the step-by-step rules, that should be. Uh, that, that should, should be, be good. fine. Yeah. So, what can we expect from the from the final note between Sydney and Kafumbla? Well, I expect exactly the same strategy for Sydney. Uh, I think it will. I mean, it's supposed to be working. Yeah, it's supposed to be working. Maybe it will take a bit more risk, but I'm not sure. It depends on the Kafumbla score. If Kafumba is doing great, maybe he will take more risk. If he is not, maybe he will keep doing the same strategy and if he's a bit higher, he will just keep it safe. Keep it safe, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, but uh, if, that's Kafumba, if Kafumba is doing really great, maybe he will take more risk just to try to beat him. Okay. But yeah, I don't know what Kafumba uh, is going to do. I, I don't know what to expect from uh, yeah. Sydney against Kafumba because Kafumba was having 7055 points in total, which is 56 points higher than what Sydney had in, yeah. the, in this second semi-final. So guys, um, we're just going to take a sh very short, short break, break because the guys are already there yeah. and uh, preparing for it. Short break and we are coming back for this final here at the HWBOT World Tour 2017 in Montreal. Thank you Marco for being here with us. Thank you, you can comment with Carl yeah. right after all. I don't know if Carl will be here on time. So I think it will, uh, we will maybe. see in the next few two minutes if that's actually uh, yeah. happening or not. Stay guys, tuned. We'll stay be tuned. back. We'll be back. Up until next time. <laughs>